Hey guys, it's Jen. Let's do a quick little introduction slash review of Restore File List Only and Restore with Move because apparently not enough of us are familiar with this. So let's see, we've, we've already taken a backup um, uh, of my speak database to disk equals, doesn't really matter, here is it, here it is. Now, to uh, let's say we wanted to restore this either on the same computer in a different location or, let's say, to a different computer that doesn't have the same drives, right? We want to restore it to a completely different drive. How would we go about such a thing? Especially if someone just hands us a backup and says, here, do this. First, you've got to get some information. Use Restore File List Only from Disk. Uh, let's run that. It'll give you the logical name and the physical name. This is uh, what each file is named, and this is where it's stored currently, or where it was stored on the last database. So we go, okay, we're going to restore a database. We're going to give it a new name, speak2, from disk equals, there you go, with, not F, with move, the logical file name is speak2, and then wherever we want to move it. In my case, I just so happen to want to move it to data2 right there and then a comma and move here take care of our second file and you'll do this for each uh, logical file name that you have I only happen to have two and there you go and you can also rename the files themselves while you're in here and let's go ahead and run this we're restoring we're restoring with move we're thinking about it it's gonna think just another minute it's a fairly small database it should come come through shortly and there you go. It finished just fine. It's restored. We can even take a look at it right there. So there you go. File list only and with moves, your best friends.